Hello, I am Dr. Rajpal Singh. I am a senior interventional cardiologist and advanced device therapist who practices at Fortis Hospital's Banagatta Road. Today, I want to tell you a few words about what an ICD or an implantable cardiac defibrillator is. This is what an implantable cardiac defibrillator looks like. This is a, a device which is used to reduce the risk of sudden cardiac death in anyone who has got a heart function which is less than 30% or 35%. Anyone who's had a resuscitated cardiac arrest, i.e. they have been, they have survived a cardiac arrest. Anyone who's got a family history of premature uh, cardiac death, particularly those which are inherited or transmitted down families. So this is what the indications are for. The further indications would be given by your doctor who's recommending this uh, therapy for you. So what does this do? This is a specialized pacemaker. It is capable of treating you when the heart rate goes slow. But in addition to that, it is more capable of treating you when the heart rate goes very fast, when the patient has a collapse or a near collapse, it ensures that the heart rhythm is restored. How does it do? It, this has got a lithium battery and circuitry in it. It is connected to a lead which is placed inside the heart. Through that, it recognizes when the heart goes very fast. If the heart is going very fast, it tries to slow it down by beating faster than that. In most cases, that is successful. If it does not work, then it literally delivers a, a small electrical shock, which stuns the heart muscle and terminates this fast electrical abnormality and enables the normal heartbeat to start working. This is the indication for an ICD and this is something which is advised only to a certain sector of patients, particularly those who have got a heart function which is low, those who have had history of having had a heart attack in the past or who have survived a heart attack, those who have survived an episode of cardiac arrest and those who have got a family tendency of developing an abnormal heart rhythm or what we call as inherited uh, cardiac rhythm abnormalities in this group of patients this works very well how do we do this we do this under local anesthesia or with mild sedation the patient is prepared very well in uh, prior to the uh, procedure we then drape the patient up all of us are draped up in theater attire the whole procedure is done in a totally aseptic manner in the cardiac cath lab a small little incision is usually made on top of the left shoulder if you are a left if you are a, a right-handed person and it will be in the right side if you are a left-handed person a small little nick is made about maybe around 3 to 4 cm by doing that the uh, with the tissue underneath is uh, opened up so that we create what we call as a little pocket so that we can place this device underneath the skin then we find a little vein which either runs in the shoulder groove or underneath the collarbone and pass that wire all the way up through the heart. There's a little screw at the bottom of this wire. We screw this into the heart muscle so that when the shock is delivered, the lead does not displace. Once we check all the numbers and are satisfied with all the numbers, we get the patient to take a breath in, to cough, to pant, to make sure that the lead does not move. Once the cardiologist who is operating is satisfied with that, they connect it up to this device and this device is buried underneath the skin in most cases and in some cases when the patient is particularly thin, we even put it underneath the muscle. After that, the whole area is sewed up, the area is cleaned up, the patient is left with a sling for about 24 hours. We do some routine testing, make sure that uh, uh, everything goes well. What is the aftercare of this? Usually you have to keep this area very clean and dry until the wound heals up. So about 10 days, we would encourage the patient not to take a bath or make this area wet. We also give the instructions that this area has to be looked after well and if there is any pain, if there is any discharge from that, or if there is any fevers, they come back straight to the operating uh, cardiologist and show it. In about 10 days time, we take the sutures out. We advise the patient not to move the left arm too much or whichever side the uh, device is kept in, not to move the uh, arm too much for the first six weeks or so, so that the lead settles down and does not get displaced. 
in terms of how one needs to look after it we have a whole host of things that we will tell but on the whole it is pretty straightforward the only thing that we always tell is that you avoid any uh, strong magnetic fields and avoid using the mobile uh, uh, phones on the side that where the device is you can use it from the contralateral side but not on on the ipsilateral side so this is in just what an icd uh, implant and the indications for it and how to look after it it is a very straightforward procedure it is a life saving procedure in those patients in whom it is indicated so if you've been advised to have an icd or your relative has been advised i hope this information is useful to you in deciding how to get it done and where to get it done all the best